Hi, I'm Mikey Dredd. Welcome to Bowling Science. Today, we're going to talk about how to use surface on short, flat oil patterns like you see in many professional and high-level amateur tournaments. Before we get started, I want to take some time to talk about our sponsor today. It's me! Today's sponsor is the Teespring Store for Bowling Science, found at teespring.com slash stores slash bowling hyphen science. There, you'll see these awesome Got Surface shirts that go along with your scotch Bright pads. Now, we're going to get warmed up using our shiny Squatch Hybrid. It's a short pinball and matches up well to this lane pattern. With a shiny surface, it allows us to extend the hook and the ball motion beyond the breakpoint of this short 37-foot pattern. This results in a more angular read on the back end, which is nice when the heads start to burn up later in the block, but early on can cause issues and cause you to have no miss room left, right, or slow or fast. With this surface preparation, it was quite easy to go through the nose or wash out. Now, we're going to hit this ball with a gray pad that's going to give us an effective grit of about a thousand. I apply enough pressure to create dust and make sure that I cover the entire surface of the ball. What you'll see here in its motion is not that the ball hooks much more, but that it hooks earlier and smoother. We're going to be able to create a much more predictable shape using a short pin ball with this surface preparation as opposed to the shiny that we started with. This ball starts to lay down a little bit sooner, maybe three or four feet earlier than the previous, and gives us a smoother, more forward roll in through the pins and off the break point. You'll also notice that the ball drives through the pins a little bit better with less deflection. But what about hook? On the house pattern, surface made our ball hook more immediately. Let's take a look at the overlay. My feet were maybe a half board difference between the gray pad surface and the shiny preparation. It's difficult to see when the ball starts to lay down with these balls overlapped, but what is clear to see is that by adding surface to our shiny ball and bringing it to a surface of about 1000 grit, we were able to play the lane in a smoother fashion, more predictably, without increasing hook. What's going to happen when we go to the next stage of surface? Here's our green pad. With this pad, we're able to achieve effective grits near 600. I'm going to make sure that I cover the ball again, and let's see how our reaction changed this time. Now that we have real surface on the ball, I did have to move my feet a few boards left, as you can see here in the slow motion overlay. As I moved left, I also was able to keep the same break point, but allow the ball to lay down even sooner, giving me an even more smooth and predictable break point. When bowling tournaments on short oil, you often have to combat players using urethane and creating more carry down in this part of the lane. That is where having surface is on your side. How much more room can we create when we go to the burgundy pad? Let's check it out. Here is our effective 320 grit pad, the burgundy pad. This one really kicks up some dust. Make sure you wipe your ball down before hitting the lane. This surface forced me another two or three boards further left with my feet and had me play further left through the front of the lane, crossing the arrows but I was still able to get to the same optimal break point near the five board and hit the pocket with probably my strongest reaction. All of these comparisons so far have been in comparison to the shiny preparation of this short pin squatch. But now we're going to compare three different shots thrown from the same place on the lane with that burgundy 320 grit surface. Throughout all of filming, this pattern was quite finicky at the break point but as soon as I hit it with a burgundy pad, I created room. This here is three shots. Yes, I was standing in the same place, but I hit three different parts of the lane and used three different break points. All three of these shots struck, and I was able to create five to six boards of room in the mid lane. This is something that as a tournament player would give me an extreme advantage, even against urethane. In conclusion, the results were quite different than what we saw in the house shot. I only created maybe five to six boards more hook going from shiny to the 320 grit surface, whereas on the house shot, it was way more than that. The advantage of using surface on short flat oil is controlling the distance of your breakpoint and thus the sharpness of your reaction. 
I appreciate your time, and make sure you go out there and throw some strikes with Surface.